Hello all, I just wanted to come in your hair. It's me, Tamara, Miss Trucker 43. To give you an update, like I, um, oh, today I wanted to talk to you about the lease purchase program at KLLM. I finally was able to attend lease purchase class. It's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Right now, KLLM is offering experienced drivers a $2,500 bonus for coming over to KLLM. Also, if someone out there from our fleet or KLLM referred you, they also get $2,500 as well. So we're out there recruiting. You'll see our trucks. We're going to be talking to you, asking you, you know, um, telling you about our program let you know uh, who to contact to get in touch with us I have met so many people that's come through here and said hey um, I watch your videos um, and they've been very helpful and I made my decision to come here and I'm really excited don't be afraid to uh, speak to me or to say hello to me or anything because I'm so grateful and I want you to come and work for somewhere that is more like a family oriented environment. We're really close knit, a uh, knit around here. We believe in teams. We believe in husband and wives working, um, solo. I mean, there's pe so many people out there that want to help you and make sure that you be successful out here. We are growing really fast. So. Um, and it's because we are a good company. We were a small company and we're really growing fast. This week, we had 40 people in orientation. 40 people. So we've been out there getting the word out there, letting you know about our programs. It's the best program out there. There is nothing else that's better. Um, KLLM has over 85% of their uh, the people that work here are lease purchase people. Why? Because there's no penalty to turn in your vehicle if it doesn't work. Another reason is because um, an idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. An idiot is a <laughs> another reason is because um, the dollar buyout prime. Also, they call you in when you got 2013. Hey, they ready to get you about that vehicle if you want to. Give you some cash back because you're going to gain equity. And also put you in a brand new vehicle. So, I mean, it's really growing. To find, to have 20, 40 vehicles be serviced, ready to go by Friday. They work in 24-7, believe you me. Uh, I happen to be... Oh, I just want to say this too. Ladies, if you're sitting out there and your husband is in trucking and you want to know what he's doing out there on the road and, you know, you miss him when he's gone and you want him to come home, get on the road with him. Quit your job and go on the road with your husband because y'all can make four, five thousand dollars a week. Okay? I mean, that's reason enough. And you can be with your husband so you'll know what he's doing all the time, which is working. Um... But uh, it's very enjoyable for the teams. I mean, they, they really do well here. And um, the lease purchase, to be 85% lease purchase of a company, um, that's, that's saying something for a company. There's only like under 400 company drivers for KLLM. And we're everywhere. We're everywhere, passing you up everywhere. Um, we're governed on our lease purchase um, vehicles at 70 miles per hour. So that maybe if you're working for Swift, Warner, CR England, any of those companies and you wonder why is KLLM keep passing me up on the road? It's because we can go 70 miles an hour. And um, which is sometimes a good thing. I would stay about 65 to conserve my gas, make sure I was getting the highest miles of fuel. But let me tell you about these purchase, okay? Y'all all know I wanted a 2015 Volvo. That's the Cadillac right there. That's the that's the BMW. That's the Land Rover. That's the Mercedes Benz. That's everything, okay? When I tell you this vehicle is everything, it's everything. Unfortunately, they're promised out to previous drivers because they have 2013s and it's time for an upgrade and, you know, they should have the opportunity to get them first. But Tamara's not going down just yet, okay? 
I do want an automatic. So I was first pick out of everyone to get my vehicle. And nobody else could pick a vehicle until I picked my vehicle first, okay? Um, I went out there. I didn't see anything I wanted. I did see a Volvo out there. It was you. Somebody didn't take care of it. I didn't want to put money into it because I didn't know what they did to it. And I wasn't going to trust that investment. If I want to pay my money, it's going to be something that I really want. And I was not going for that it wasn't an automatic it was a manual but it still had the body style and all that kind of stuff i passed on it um and i chose to wait um they don't have any coming in until next year and that's fine um i said i was not going anywhere until they give me an automatic i'm gonna stay here in jackson until somebody find me an automatic guess what i come to class this morning on thursday Somehow, a 2015 Cascadia Evolution automatic showed up on the lot. Go figure. So, they saying, Tamara, will you be satisfied with an automatic Cascadia? Hey, beggars can't be choosy. Yes, I'll be satisfied with that because my thing is, being a female driver, I want to be safe out there. I'm by myself. I don't want to be worried about breakdowns. I don't want to be worried about problems. I'm not going up under there changing belts. You know, there's some people that's mechanics and they can work on their trucks, but not Tamara. She's not doing it. Uh, I'm going to tell you what the problem is and what I think the problem is, and I'm going to get it fixed. I'm not going to be under my truck trying to... Uh, change anything i might change the fuse in the fuse box or maybe a clearance light i could probably do that but mm, that's about the limit of my expertise right there i'll kind of leave it to freightliner uh freightliner has the best warranty uh they're well known you can take that vehicle anywhere to get fixed with lease purchase you don't have to take it to a company to get fixed you don't have to take it to freightline to get free you can fix that car wherever you feel comfortable getting that that truck fixed okay uh the only thing is is that they do require you to keep records so whenever they call you in to check your truck out to make sure that you're taking care of it properly then you have to have your records up to date you still got to get your oil changes and your maintenance done on the vehicles but you could do that at wherever you want to do that at it doesn't have to be a certain place we arrived in there wednesday they talked about maintenance a lot and you know the upkeep of your vehicle you get a brand new vehicle no credit check no down payment no you know no bs straight up sign the papers here you go um uh let's see after we did talk about maintenance and about the vehicles and how to take care of them, um, the next thing was to um, pick out the vehicles. Like I said, I picked up mine. I got my Cascadia. I'm satisfied. Uh, I was kind of disappointed yesterday because I was like, oh my God, what did I do? I passed up on all those vehicles and I held out. Am I going to be here for a long time? I can't sit too long. I got to go out there and make some money. But eight o'clock this morning, I got a call to the back saying, you know what, Tamara, we did find your automatic. So, you know, sometimes you got to take things on a case by case basis around here. Uh, you'll learn that case by case. So, you know, what's good for one person may not be good for the other and they'll work with you. Um, after we did that, we came back yesterday about 5 o'clock, got some rest, got up this morning, and we went full force ahead, okay? The maintenance department is open 24 hours, so they got to get us out of here by Friday, okay? This morning, we got there about 8 o'clock and uh, 7.45, and we was ready to go. We started filling out them contracts. I'm going to show you the contracts tomorrow. The contract, the book is this thick, okay? And... He actually reads you every word in the contract, page by page. So, you, I just look up when it's time to write the VIN number now and, um, and put the cost on there or uh, put my name or sign something because <laughs> he read it from eight. 11 just read the contract but it's a lot of good information in there 
Um, truck payment, 525.03, okay, for 2015. If you get a 2013, your payments are lower than that. Insurance, $411 a month, so that's like a hundred and something dollars a week. Now we at six something. Qualcomm, 19. Um, there's some other tra trailer, uh, other insurance. I got passenger insurance so I can have, you know, people ride, uh, a person ride with me if they want to get on my truck at any time. There's a $500 deductible for your pets to ride. Um, there's a $500 fee for the inverter. That's so you can have those outlets in your car, in your truck to plug up your refrigerator and stuff like that. Um, and not worry about you not having enough power. So you can put your little stove, a refrigerator, a little cooking stuff and you can have your own little kitchen up in there and don't have to worry about buying food. Do that. Um, they put your trip pass in there for the way station, toll stations. Um, everything is in plastic so I'm going to take pictures of it tomorrow. I could not find my truck today so that's why I didn't take pictures. That's why I didn't do a video on it. I couldn't find it. I don't know if it was getting all the stuff put bells and whistles on or where it was but I was tired of walking around in my heels trying to find that truck. Um, the next thing we did today after we ate lunch, because they feed us good, oh my god, they feed us so good. We had chicken today and it was just awesome. Um, the people come from everywhere. They come from California, they come from New York, they come from Florida, they come from, and I talk to everybody. I'm not that person that's not going to sit up there and talk to you. You talk to me, I'm going to talk to you. Even if you don't talk to me, I'm going to talk to you anyway. Um, after that, we took pictures. Uh, now that we're independent contractors, we get our com data card, we get our um, com data sh uh, slips, we get um, the payroll information. As an independent contractor, guess what? You can hire your own drivers. So all they got to do is be able to qualify to drive and have a CDL and have driving experience. And they will come in, take a drug test and a physical, and uh, they'll go to like two days of orientation or something like that, and then they're on your truck. They work for you. They don't work for KLLM. You can pay them what you want to pay them. They don't know what you're making, how you're going to split it, however you want to split it, you split it. But they're your employee or your person, your co-driver. There's only one person that's assigned to the truck, and that's the first lead driver. First lead driver is assigned to the truck that's responsible for the payments that the business name is in. Anybody, you can hire anybody you want to. Family member, as long as they got CDL, they've been driving, bring them on in, put them on your truck, and y'all roll. Teams are doing good. I mean, you can make four or five thousand dollars a week. There's no reason for you to, husband and wife, to be sitting at home and not being out there making that money because you can, you can, y'all really will enjoy it. Um, uh, let's see. That's what we, we went over a lot of insurance and money. If you're not careful, you can be insurance to death. They had two policies for death. Two policies for death. And I'm thinking, hmm, there's an accidental death and there's another death that they had. And I'm like, how many times you got to die? But, I don't know. Um, the medical insurance wasn't really like medical insurance. I think it, could, it was like um, uh, something. I don't know what it was, but it was something to get thirty nine dollars out of you. But it really wasn't medical. It, it, the dental was dental. You had to pay a thousand dollars to for something to kick in. The vision you had to pay such and such amount for the vision. You go blind by the time the, the coverage will start. Um, it just really, as far as independent contracting, you got to get out there and do your own research and get your own insurance when it comes to medical and those type things. They do make us get accidental insurance um, because if an accident happened and something happens to you or something like that, you're covered very well on that. Your passenger is covered very well at 100% as well. Uh, you pay $17 a month for your passenger. They got to be at least 12 years old and older to be on that truck. Um, um, your diesel, they taught us about fuel tax. They taught us about uh, putting our, uh, our, our company in our own name by having a tax ID number, um, by keeping your records, by um, getting the best fuel mileage, where to fuel. Um, 
what to run in between uh, 60 65 to make sure you're getting that um, total overall okay overall total amount take it out your settlement every week is about $750 which isn't bad because I expected it to be about $900 and it's not it's $750 and fifty dollars so if you're getting about thirty five hundred dollars thirty five hundred miles uh, um uh, a week or three thousand miles a week you can make a killing you can make seventeen eighteen hundred dollars a week I said a week not a month a week okay um all your insurances are in there for you for your protection um what else we do basically we sign contracts all day like I say the book is this big and they're gonna make copies for us in the morning what we're gonna do is we sign our parts today and the carrier will sign for their information tomorrow and we should be out of here starting to bail out of here about 4 30 tomorrow on Friday now What's the plan, okay? Time goes in on Thursday. You turn all of your information in Thursday morning about 6 o'clock. You get paid Thursday evening by 1, 2 o'clock. So it's the same day um, that they vote on your com data. Um, what I plan to do is I plan, I'm trying to get a load going to... Biloxi, which is only 300 miles because I need to finalize some things before I really get out there and get going. I need to get some personal items such as, you know, you got to get your refrigerator, you got to get your, oh, I think orientation is, they pay you $500 for orientation. And you get that on Friday on your com data card. Um, you get your, I'm not sure when you get your bonus. I think it's after you do your first load, you get half of it, and then you get a certain amount, such and such days, 30 days later, or something like that. I'm not sure. Call a recruiter, they could let you know. Um, but it's been, I mean, since Wednesday, everything's been just blowing fast. We just been running non-stop and there's so much information and you have to pay attention to those numbers. If you do not pay attention to those numbers, you're going to be out there running, wasting money, fueling when you don't need to fuel, uh, sleeping when you don't need to sleep. Uh, so I'm going to start doing a lot of, since I come from the tax world, I'm going to start doing a lot of information on how to keep your records, how to make sure you are fueling, fueling for the load and not to fuel to get your tank full because you can overfuel and lose money, okay? Um, I'm going to teach you how to run. My goal now is to be um, in the top 10 female drivers at KLLM. That's my new goal. Okay. I don't went through the class. I graduated. I got my CDL. I went through my training. I upgraded. I did that. I'm getting my lease purchase truck. Done that. Check. Now, I want to be in the top 10 of the female drivers at KLLM. Um, that would be an accomplishment for me. I, they need women trainers because we had five women trainers here. There's only two, and they don't take women. So, go figure. Because um, we can be difficult at times. You know, we got all kinds of personal issues, emotions, and we want to cry. The husband ain't acting right. The kids ain't acting right. So many things going on at the house. It can be emotional. So, I'm going to try to get in the mindset of maybe be becoming a trainer hopefully but i do have to work here two summers we don't play that go to training come from upgrade and you're a trainer we don't play that over here you gonna get some experience behind your belt before you start training somebody else um chain somebody asked me about the chains in the winter time are you gonna have to put chains up not me i'm not gonna train chains on no, nobody ties i'm not no uh -uh, not doing it um and don't use me taking no class because it ain't going to happen. If I get in a situation that I feel like I need to use change, guess what? I'm going to shut down. 
I am going to get some sleep. I'm going to get some rest. I'm not going to fool out there with that weather. And I'm going to roll when it's, you know, safe to do so. So, no, I'm not doing chains. We don't do chains. Chains are there for decoration. And they're there for um, DLT requirement, maybe. Make them happy. But I won't touch them. Got my gloves, gotta go get a release on, gotta go get my atlas, gotta go get a refrigerator, gotta go get a stove, gotta go get sheets, gotta go get, gotta go get, gotta go get. So, um, guys, let me tell you, if you haven't checked out the lease purchase at KLLM, you really gotta do so. You really do. It's the best program out there. We have a 38% turnover rate. And guess what? That's the best in trucking. You may think it's high, but it's not high. That's the best. Everybody else has a higher percentage. We have one least least uh, turnover rate at KLM. And it's not easy. You're not going to just put in an application and think you're going to show up tomorrow. You know, they got to check you out, see what you're about, make sure you're okay to come to this family over here that we got going on. But like I say, we are constantly growing. Um, if you have any questions about lease purchase, contact one of us. Talk to okay. If you're out there on the road and you see one of our drivers, ask them. Nine times out of ten, you see lease purchase on that truck. They're a lease purchase operator. Talk to them about um, about lease purchasing. Talk to them about our program. We'll be more than happy. I stop people all the time. When I jump out the truck, they're like, you driving trucks? Uh, it, yeah. Uh, I can't even. It's so funny. I can't even reach the windshield to wash <laughs> to wash my windshield. So what I do is I climb up on my by my hood and I get up there and wash my um windshield you know you have some people that's so funny they're like you need me to get that that uh that 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 diesel fuel for you if you want to i'm not gonna sell i'm not going to unaccept any type help i can get up out of here you want to let the land to get down more power to you have at it you want to put fuel in my truck more power to you have at it you want to back me up in the dock Hey, more power to you. Have at it. Whatever you gonna do to help out, move my tandems. You gentlemen out there that like to move tandems, I'll set the help. You got some women out here. They like, I don't need your help. I'm, I'm a woman. I can do this myself. You go, girl, superwoman. But if somebody asks me if I need some help, you guess what? I will accept it every time every time um but you got some people i do this by myself i don't need your help just because you think you're a man you no i welcome it don't ever be afraid to ask me if i need some help because nine times i do i probably nine times out of ten i probably will but it's been a good week i was feeling kind of down a little bit uh earlier this week because i'm like I get anxious, I can't sit too long, I gotta go, I don't like staying in one place too long, it's boring, <sighs> tiring, exhausting, I'm not on the road, I'm not in the room with doing what I need to do. But Wednesday came, and baby, let me tell you, we've been running every since. We took our IDs today. Um, and then we get on the road and y'all I will be showing you everything that I possibly can um, I'm gonna try to get a better camera because this is a laptop so I'm gonna try to get a camera so I can show you what I do out there let you women know it's not that difficult you know you can't get in some difficult situations but it's not that difficult I encourage you 
I want to motivate you. I want you to be out here on this road. If you're sitting at home, kids are out the house. You know, you're tired of hearing that noise. You want to get away. This is a perfect opportunity for you to do that. You want to start over. You tired of that job every day. You want to be your own boss. You want to make your own money. You know, I encourage you to do that. I will support you in every kind of way. And you know that once you get through it, it will be well deserving and rewarding. This is not, you have to be some kind of big person to be a trucker. I'm 5'2". I weigh 130 pounds and I'm out there with the best of them. So you can do it. It may take a little bit of time of getting used to, but you can make it happen. And the benefits and the money and everything is out there for you to make. Save up. You know, I'm getting old. I'm 43 years old. I'm saving. I want a house in the country. I want some, uh, I want to go fishing. I want some uh, cows. No, no cows. Some, maybe some chickens. Something like that. I want a peaceful retirement. So that's what I'm doing right now. So y'all take care. I'm tired. I've been over here making my blanket. Guess what? I'm going home to get my dog, my baby, my Yorkie. I love him so much. I'm going to get him. So um, he'll be on the truck with me next week. So y'all take care. Be safe out there. If you have any questions, please inbox me. If I don't get right back with you, y'all know what I'm doing. I'm running. I'm, I'm driving. I'm doing what it takes to make this uh, paper. And um, be safe. Like I say, ladies, if y'all sitting at home, your husband on the road, you missing him, put that two-week notice in. Get out here. Get on the road with your husband. Make that real money. And y'all travel the world together. Enjoy yourselves and have a good time. So take care. And I will update you as soon as I get my, vi my vi uh, vehicle. I will give you a tour of my vehicle. I will take pictures of my vehicle. I'm going to talk about my vehicle. And we're going to go on our first load together. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So talk to you soon. Bye.